From a single flame to five, each representing one of the nations meeting here in mourning today. On the wall behind them, the names of all the victims, including those from Iran. But it was also the launch of a battle plan, a pledge from these five countries to find answers, even if it takes years. Canada's foreign minister said Iran's cooperation will be judged each step of the way, the greatest leverage to come from a watching world, he said. It's called the international community. The eyes of the international community are in Iran today. Inside Iran, they are still burying their dead. These images are of a funeral in the city of Hamedan. Others have been marked with anger against Iran's leadership. Some people for the second day in a row reportedly refusing to drape the bodies of their loved ones in the Iranian flag. Abroad, Iran's foreign minister, Javid Zarif, made the diplomatic rounds after European countries accused Tehran of abandoning a 2015 deal on controlling Iran's nuclear capabilities. There are worries that tensions will hinder the joint investigation just launched and efforts to assist with the repatriation of remains. The Dutch foreign minister was invited to the London meeting to share the Netherlands' experience trying to prosecute those who shot down a Malaysian airliner over eastern Ukraine in 2014. I advised uh, the, the ministers to be prepared for uh, the interference of, of geopolitics and, and the search for, for truth and justice. Justice, accountability, transparency and closure. That's what the ministers gathered here today promised for the victims and their families. Whether it's theirs to deliver, though, is the question. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.